हेलो एवरीवन नमस्कार वेलकम टू क्लाउड पाठशाला इन दिस वीडियो वी वुड बी लुकिंग एट हाउ वी कर्ड इंस्टॉल ए डब्ल्यू सी एल आई कॉन्फिगर ए डब्ल्यू सी एल आई ऑन द विंडोज लैपटॉप विद द क्रेडेंशियल्स एंड हाउ टू एक्सेस द ए डब्ल्यू एस सर्विसेस वाया द कमांड लाइन इंटरफेस दिस इज a very beginners guide wherein we would be installing configuring and looking at some basic aws cli commands so let's get into the topic first you could go to the install or update latest version of aws cli uh, there is a documentation available and because i am on windows currently i would go into the windows section and this is the commands that you could use to run the installation or else what you could also do is download this to your local folders once the file has been downloaded what you can do is double click on the file and it would ask you for the instructions uh, just agree the license agreement and click on next and click on install what this would do is start the installation process for the command line interface for aws on your laptop now once the installation is finished what you could do is open your terminal and uh, here if you see uh, i have already tried aws s3 ls and uh, i was getting the error saying that aws command is not found now this is before the installation started so what we would now be doing is just check the version of aws that has been installed and it still says that what we'll do is reload the terminal and as you see how uh, you are getting a response for this thing so if i do a version you get version of the aws cli that is installed is 2.14. now if you try to run it basic s3 list command which would actually give you the list of all s3 buckets you would actually see that you are not able to um get the output and the reason being uh, it is not able to locate the credentials where it is stored now in order to get the credentials you need to actually go to your iam user which is this and in the iam user what you could do is go to the security credentials section and here you could assign yourself access keys now if you see i already have an access key associated with this uh, user so let me actually get rid of this access key all you have to do is uh, give in the confirmation of the access key id so that you could do that now if you are looking at your i am user for the first time right so this is how it would look like you would not have any access keys and all you could do is create access key over here uh you could always uh select why you are using this i would go with command line interface because it works exactly the same and you need to click on i understand the compatibilities and then you could get the access key and the secret key now what i would suggest is download the file so that you always have a copy of it now you could also save these things in the aws configure directly without installing or downloading the file now in order to get this configuration done what you need to do is say aws configure and here you need to paste the access key which is this and you need to paste the secret which is this and you need to provide the region in which you want to operate by default i'm selecting ap south 1 as the region which is mumbai and the format i'll just leave it as empty now once this is done what you need to do is do aws s3 ls and uh, as you see you are getting an error saying that the provided region does not match the supported format so s o u t h 
uh, should have been working but what you could do is go back to the stuff and maybe say us east 1 and then if you do aws s3 ls you would definitely get the output now the region doesn't matter over here in the configuration file uh, the only reason why it is there is uh, aws would operate or uh, this command line interface would directly hit the apis of that particular region to get the details now as you know s3 is a global resource in aws that is in the aws console if you look for s3 it is a global resource even though the buckets which are there inside are uh, individual buckets so these are the different aws s3 buckets that i have in my aws account now if you want to look a look into any particular s3 bucket so what you can do is uh, aws s3 ls and you need to give this colon two star two slashes and then the name of the bucket and this would give you a list of all the uh, folders that are there inside the s3 bucket and these are the, the the list that you see over here is a list of all the batches that we have been uh, taking through uh, as we also take classes now uh, the next thing that you could do is if you want to look for something specific inside that particular s3 bucket folder you could just add the thing and you would be getting in the details so this is as simple uh, all you could do is uh, copy uh, all you could do is list the files on the stuff so this is how uh, you could first install your aws cli on your windows laptops number two you could get the access key and the secret key uh, which would actually help you which will actually help you access the amazon web services using the command line interface uh, once the key has been generated what you need to do is aws configure and provide the <laughs> that's it for this very short video folks um Thank you so much for watching. If you have liked the video, please like and share it across. Thank you. Bye-bye.